Hello everybody, my name is Crystal and I've just come back from the co-op and I was wearing my beanie hat with cat on that is on my YouTube channel, right? So, um, why did I go to the co-op in the evening? Well, basically I thought I'd try going out in the evening um, I'm a woman on my own and I get a lot of flack um, because you're trying to expose abuse and whatever this is going on and it, these people don't like it so they start playing up um, so when I went out with Max for a walk my chihuahua, here he is um, when I went out with Max this evening, there was a young lady serving with long ginger hair. So she had long hair and it was ginger. So I thought, right, it's going to be safe to go in the co-op. There's a ginger haired woman serving. So at just after seven, I took Max out for a walk. And I've been quiet all day and I've, you know, I've just been in my flat learning Polish. I was learning Polish on my 10 inch tablet. Before I went out, I was learning Polish and I was laughing because it, it said a mattress and a word for something in Polish is kosh, kosh. And I pronounced it kok. So I was saying out loud, a mattress, a koch, kosh. So it sounded like a mattress and a cock. But I said kok by mistake and it's kosh. So I was speaking in Polish, like practicing it. I'm, I've learned a hundred new words, a hundred new words. So I was learning all these new words, a knife, a fork, computer, radio, radio 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 and um, that's what i was doing before i went outside and i've been indoors um, being quiet um so basically i took max out for a walk and you know some people like to stir you up you know stir you up and I'm just keeping quiet and ignoring people. So when I went onto the field, there was this brown dog following me up the path. Just And the owner was whistling. You know how they, these men stick their fingers in their mouth and whistle for their dog? <laughs> well, it, it, this guy was letting this dog, like, follow me up the path. And... The dog wasn't going to him, so he, he whistled for it. And I just kept on walking and ignored this guy because these people want you to get cross and angry because it's entertainment value and you look a cunt. So I'm not going to get cross and angry. I'm just, I was just ignoring them. I'm just ignoring them and getting on with my life. There's, there's no need to keep calling the bloody police. It's wasting their time. Right, it is. So I just let, this dog was following me all up the path and this guy was just stood there at the bottom of the path, letting it go and doing that <whistles> behind my back, like whistling for a fucking dog, right? So I just ignored this, this geezer and eventually the dog went back to him and there was no trouble at all, right? Um, so... <laughs> Sorry, I, you can hear talking when I'm trying to do my video. They, they just want to make you cross. You've just got to ignore it and carry on with what you're doing. So, it's been quiet all day. No nuisance. No nothing. No noise from upstairs. No, nothing at all. Um, so, I, I, I carried on walking past the riverside and round the field. Right. People don't like it when you stick up to them. When you... When you bow down and you do as you're told so to speak and uh, they like it but when you start standing up for yourself and reporting what they're doing they of course they're not going to like it and that's tough shit they shouldn't do it to me should they they should learn their lesson and not fucking do it 
and I'm not going to stop doing videos and I ain't a fucking man right whoever is fucking spreading it around that I'm a bloke is fucking crazy and there's fuck for, for fuck's sake stop being fucking um genderist racist homo bloody phobic grow up right grow up you cunts that are doing that grow up i mean there's a bloke in the co-op he's a man with black fingernails black polish black nail polish on his hands serving in the co-op bloke with glasses He's just served me in the car. He had black nail polish on. Black. A bloke. Don't bother me. So why, why are people taking the piss out of me when there's a bloke in there wearing black nail polish? I mean, really? So. I carried on walking around the field. Nobody else on there at all. Came back into the flats after I'd looked in the co-op window to see if there was a newspaper. And bloody hell, there was loads of newspapers left. Loads of Sunday newspapers left. So I got the Sunday, the mail on Sunday. Whoopee! Came down the road, all these guys coming at me. Guys with beanie hats on, right? No women, just blokes everywhere with beanie hats. And I'm on my own walking down the street and I've got my torch on and I, th I think, right, if anyone's going to start anything with me, I'm going to clobber them with this torch. It's fucking heavy. I thought, if I get any trouble, I'm going to bang them with the torch, man. So, came back into the flat and he took his kids back upstairs uh, this afternoon and he came back just just after I came back with the dog and I went out to the co-op me and I've just had the most awful experience in there but you know blokes blokes are laughing at women there you go right so the delivery guy came in with his helmet. The staff had left bags unattended on the shell on the desk. So there were co-op bags left unattended on the co-op counter. Anyone could have walked in and pinched them. The delivery guy came in with a white helmet on. My son had a had a moped a long time ago, and he, someone stole his. Stole his helmet. Stole, he, he, he left his moped outside the block of flats and someone nicked it within about two minutes. It had fucking gone. Some of my shopping. They now have sour cream and onion Pringles. I've got some of those. And we've got two yuzus. Strawberry and banana. So we've got you shoes. Got some other bits as well. We've got some whiskers fish favourites. We've got some jelly babies. We've got some squashy drumsticks. We've got some chicken slices and some ham slices. We have Snickers Duo. We have two Airwaves chewing gum. some British chicken chicken tikka masala with pilau rice and we have got two Christmas cracker scratch cards too this is all for tomorrow um, I've got my ice cream as well just getting a load of 
the bullying because um, it started again. Once you get me messages, and also I spoke to my mother this afternoon. The mail on Sunday, I spoke to my mother over the phone this afternoon. So what do I expect when I walk into the co-op and all the staff are talking? Three blokes talking to each other about the police. The police laughing, laughing, and then talking about the police, right? They weren't laughing at me. They were laughing together and talking about the police. And then um, all men serving in there, four of them, the woman with the ginger hair had gone and there were four blokes in there and I'm a woman and I felt intimidated. I didn't feel intimidated. Um, there's cameras in there. I have paid for my shopping. I don't know if I picked up the receipt. Yeah, I think so. Right. Talking about the police, leaving stock unattended. Uh, twenty-one pounds cash. You read that? Twenty-one pounds cash paid for the plastic bags. And I was in there at seven thirty-four and forty-two seconds. So I've got the receipt. They were treating me like a common criminal, right? Talking about the police, leaving things unattended. And when I tried to get out of the store, a couple of members of staff were talking to three people in the doorway. So I couldn't get out of the shop. The shop I couldn't get out of the shop, it was blocked. And I had to, when I said, can I get past, please, the first time, they didn't hear me. So I had to say it a bit louder. And the bloke that served me behind the counter had glasses and black nail polish. I haven't worn glasses for ages. And my hair is long. I don't know what the fuck is going on. But I ain't a fucking man. The staff have got no right to bully customers. They haven't. They need to grow up. Some of them need to grow up in there. It's, it's a, it, the shop is awful. I mean, I don't like going in there at the best of times. But um, it's not going to stop me going into the shop. And if I feel I'm victim, being victimised and... Um, something's going on I, I, it'll get reported i am a woman it's good when you you're in the shop and you're hearing the staff go yeah the policeman the policeman and start laughing i'm happy though it's not going to stop me going in there I'm going to eat my, my ice cream and um, I'm going to go in there whenever I feel like it, whenever I want to. Do you remember the time that I walked into the co-op and somebody threw a plastic, ba a plastic bag full of chicken nuggets on the floor? Chicken nuggets and I thought I was being shot. No one's going to spoil my evening. No one. So, I had a chat with my mum this afternoon and we were chatting and she said that her next door neighbour's car, Sue's, wasn't working and Sue hadn't gone out today. Um, she told me that she'd been asleep, Jennifer had been asleep on the sofa for most of the day and it's cold in her flat. And um, 
I was getting, I've been getting funny messages. I've been getting funny messages. And I just bloody ignored it. Do you know what I mean? Um, so they were talking about the police in the co-op. Perhaps something had gone down. Oh, this is by Glenn Owen. Glenn, my last meeting with the Queen and her inspirational words of wisdom, Boris Johnson. Gary Oldman doesn't actually smell as slow horses. Jackson Lamb. Don't know what that's about. Well, I've got the newspaper. There's a load of newspapers in there. Normally they're sold out. I haven't been going in the carp in the mornings. No. You know the police don't do anything, you know nobody does anything, so you have to shout. I have to, sh I have to, can I get past please? And that's what I said. A, woman, a lady doesn't push people out the way. A lady waits till people move. See you later.